Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the Jordan Ultimate Gift of Flight pack, uh, also known as the Pantone pack. This sneaker here, this sneaker here. I will have an on-foot section towards the end of this video, so if you're interested in that, check that out. I also have some other sneakers out here for comparative purposes, as I usually do. Uh, if you guys like that concept and, and like this kind of concept of a video, please give the video a thumbs up, as it takes a little bit of effort to pull all these sneakers out and do this type of video, but worth it in my opinion because it's nice to see some little things here and there that I've noticed um, uh, around, I guess, all these different sneakers um, and some some things that are comparative. So uh, first things first, this is probably the one that people care about the most, the Pantone 11. And one thing that I will note is on the box, and I don't know if I can uh, bring you in close or not, or I don't know, right here. Let's see if I can do this right. You can see right here, Ultimate Gift of Flight, and it says multicolor, multicolor, um, screen, screen, 9.5. So this pack cost a grip. It was it was $500, and um, it just says multi, multi on the box. So it doesn't say Pantone anywhere, uh, but obviously everybody knows this is the Pantone 11s because they were samples. They had a Jordan 1 through 23. I believe it was a 1 through 23, all in this Pantone blue colorway. And um, this is one of the most coveted ones of that entire set. This sneaker alone back three years ago or so, like was selling, two years ago, we're selling for $10,000. Like people would would uh, fork out a lot of money for this shoe because it was just sampled and there was not a ton of them around. Um, that being said, when images started surfacing and saying that they're actually going to be releasing in 2014, I did not believe it. A lot of you guys didn't believe it. Um, I checked into it and it actually checked out and, and I did hear that it was happening and I was surprised that they actually went that route. Then they threw it in the pack. So it kind of deterred a lot of people because of the $500 price point two days before Christmas launching on December 23rd, I believe is the, the launch date of these ones. Just a crazy amount of hype around the sneakers. But at the end of the day, $500 is $500 and, um, and it's, it's an expensive pack. A lot of people really don't love this. Uh, shoe out of the pack the uh, the 29 uh, I have to say I love the 29s they're amazing shoes they're very very comfortable um, but it is also one of those wrenches that they threw in the pot to make it a little bit more difficult for people to um, decide whether or not they're actually going to pick up the pack so uh, in the description there'll be a link to eBay and some some gift of flight um, like options I guess because they're really not that bad right now I mean you can get them for like 650 or so um, which is a markup from, from like the 500. It's not honestly that big surprisingly. But, um, one thing I did want to show you guys is down here in this little junk section, as I have my little light and bag down here, um, you can see down there, there's the six and seven pack. And then up there, over there, there's the double five pack right there. And all these right here are countdown packs. The countdown packs were 310. The Jordan five raging bull pack right over there was 310. And that pack down there, um, the gold medal pack was 350. So Jordan brand dropping the bomb on us with this $500 pack. It definitely, uh, was difficult for people to swallow and understandably. So they're following suit though. I mean, the penny pack, the penny Hardaway pack was $500 and the Brazil pack was $500 and that was ultra limited, uh, very nice leather on the, the Jordan sixes from what I've been uh, hearing. Uh, and you got a CP three instead of a Jordan 29, now, the Jordan 29, these are 225 retail. So you figure 225 retail. And then if that one, let's say was 250 retail or 200 retail, really, um, that's 425. And then you throw in like 25 for a box. I mean, really, these should have been 450 at, at the, I guess, at the market price currently. And they were 500. So they're a little bit more. Um, but this color was pretty dope. It's kind of interesting because of this material that they use. It's white, but it's kind of this cream colored uh, over top of it and it almost gives kind of a dingy look I have to say it looks dirty um, to some extent but it's not it's just the way that the colors mesh together um, but if you haven't tried on a pair of these sneakers uh, you're missing out it's definitely one of the most comfortable sneakers that uh, Jordan brand has ever dropped and I'm talking about casually I wear mine double laced at the top as you can see right here and wear them loose and just they slide on your foot and uh, you can just get up and go elephant print insoles very nice shoe uh, Icy soles down there and then the jump man at the front and then you can see the kind of the the silverish sort of midsole But uh pretty dope pair Uh, but these ones again are the ones that that's uh, everybody really cares about you have the white patent or the white patent leather white midsole um, The Pantone patent leather and then this uh, Nubuck type material around 
the top part. And this is consistent. And the reason why I pulled out these right here is because it's pretty consistent with the cool grays, as you can see, this material right here. Um, so I, that was a nice uh, addition because I did not know how that would turn out. When you have that and then you hold up one of these next to it, this feels cheap. These ones feel quite cheap because this is just kind of a hard leather versus the like this soft buttery um like material on the pantone so just i mean they look very very similar but it's amazing the difference when you have them in hand like this soft leather or i mean hard leather soft buttery uh new buck material that being said look at the tongue so the tongue is is the new buck material as well and it wrinkles a little bit on the, the tongue there this is that ballistic sort of nylon or whatever it's called rope laces on both um consistent with these ones right here you have that regular tongue it's not the mesh tongue and i don't know um i have to check out some other people's videos because i'm not sure if this is true to the og or not with that mesh tongue or was it supposed to be uh like so you guys will have to let me know i honestly don't know because i've never had a pair of the the columbia's uh the original ones but one other reason the reason why i have these out here for comparative purposes is because look at the collar this collar around here look at this uh, material around this collar is black and it's that threaded kind of material. I don't know what to call it. Like, I don't know if herringbone is the right word, whatever the hell it's called. But it's the same um, vibe as on the anniversary pair uh, here. So I thought that was kind of cool. And that's totally different than any of the other ones. Like you can see, it's kind of more than a neoprene uh, look. So subtle little things like that. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like I didn't realize that was only on this other pair. It's not on any of the other pairs. It's not on the breads. It's... um. It's not on the breads, it's not on the gammas, it's not on the space jams, and so or the concords. It's just on on these ones and and uh, this one right here. So kind of cool. Um, anyway, I'll put the uh, oh and one last thing. I'll put the on foot section on in just a second here. But if you guys wanted to see the coloring uh, difference, I mean this is the powder blues, amazing shoe, overly slept on. This shoe eventually will be a gem. I think it's just a sick sick shoe, um, and I have a double up because I really really dig that model. But you can see the coloring is totally different i mean this is the powder blue this is a pantone blue and i will actually it's been a video that i've been planning for like i don't know a year two years now of a blue all the jordan blues i there's i mean there's so many different types of of jordan blue colorways there's the royal, like royal blue uh powder blue uh sport blue um true blue legend blue uh pantone and i don't even know however many other ones but i have a bunch of different colorways of a bunch of different blues and it's just one of those videos that type of video is one that i'm going to be doing in 2015 it won't be as many pickup videos it'll be more of just reviews and kind of close-up looks of of things like that a little more creative something that i want to get back to that i used to do in the past um and so i think it will be something that you guys enjoy the on foot section should be right here though though if you guys are curious on both of the sneakers um a lot of people said that the 29s were a waste that, like they didn't really like those in the pack um i don't know dudes i mean they're not flashy. They're not as flashy as as the Elevens by by any means. And of course, the Eleven the Elevens are like the the absolute dopest shoe in the pack. But the Twenty Nines are still fresh to me. Like as somebody that just likes um, the Jordan Twenty Nine model, this is my third pair of Twenty Nines. Uh, it'll be definitely one that I'll be rocking because I just I really do like that model. Uh, comfortable and hopefully they'll have some other cool models or colorways coming out eventually the bh uh, the black history month one is supposed to be pretty dope as well i'm sure we'll see some leaked images of those uh coming up i've actually i don't know if i can say i've seen them or not i don't know maybe i can say that i'm not sure but you guys know the colorway it's black and white because everybody every bhm uh shoe that's dropping this year is black and white which i kind of like that kind of a uh, simple theme but uh let me like hear back from you guys leave some comments let me know did you guys pick up this gift of uh, flight pack, uh, it was actually quite readily available, more so than I would have anticipated. Uh, the fact that I was able to get them, I was like, well, this is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I felt good because I was able to get both of the Jordan 11 drops this year. And thus, I will do a Jordan 11 collection video coming up um, with my thoughts on the potential uh, 2015 Jordan Retro, whichever one's going to come out this upcoming year. Um, give you guys my just input on my thoughts on that as I kind of like to do every year. Um, ever since the breads, like predicting those breads coming and then the, the legend blues I predicted last year and then the gammas came and then now we got the legend blues or the Columbia's, um, it'll be interesting to see what happens next year, but full video on that because I have all of the sneakers actually out and about ready to do that video. Uh, so check back in the next week or so. And that video should be up. Thank you guys for, uh, all of the support. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys keep me motivated to do these videos and you guys don't realize how difficult it is. 
uh, as I'm recording this video, the wife is waiting downstairs for me to get done so I can spend some time with her before it gets a little too late and then it's bedtime. And then I have to go to work and drive, you know, a half an hour, an hour to work and back, try to get a workout in if I can. And then uh, and it's just really, really busy. But you guys are some great motivation for me to be able to come here and make these videos and know that people are going to watch them. And that, I don't know, it's just, it's a cool, uh, I guess, a, 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 not to toot my own horn, but it's a cool feeling to have like people actually interact and watch the videos. And it makes like the effort that I put into this because it is a lot of effort for me personally, uh, it makes it worth it. So I do appreciate you guys very, very much. So pat yourselves on the back. High fives for everybody. And uh, <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.